For my thesis topic, I found what I believe is a major flaw in music education. We spend most of our time teaching students to learn how to read and play other people's music, but never show them how to write their own. That's like teaching someone to read, but not write, isn't it? My thesis topic is integrating technology in the music classroom to teach music composition. I've been developing curriculum and lessons in my classroom to teach students how to write music before or as they learn the fundamentals of music theory, harmony, and playing their instruments. Music instruction today is based primarily on performance, preparing students to read music and perform in a concert or recitals for a live audience. Though music performance is a very important endeavor for music students to achieve, schools don't teach students how to create their own music compositions. It's within most state curriculum frameworks for music instruction that students will have the opportunity to extend their skills to composition. However, most students never have the opportunity to learn to compose their own music. The Music Educators National Conference, MENC, and the National Association for Music Education recommended in 1994 that every music course offered, including performance courses, provide experiences in creating, performing, listening to, and analyzing music in addition to focusing on specific subject matter. A recommendation was made in the Standards for Music Education in 1994 that in grades K-12, through suggesting curriculum and scheduling for music composition. The instructional activities recommended are directed towards achieving the National Content and Achievement Standards. The curriculum comprises a balanced and sequential program of singing, playing instruments, listening to music, improvising, and composing music. Though these recommendations are voluntary, they've been adopted into most state frameworks for music instruction. Very few schools have implemented this recommendation for composition for students to create their own music. The solution to this problem is to teach music integrated with new technology. Advances in music technology have been made so that students with little or no experience in reading music can be introduced to composition and arranging music without having previously mastered singing or playing an instrument. Music technology allows students the freedom of working independently and sharing their work creatively with the class as a group. Students have the ability to work on projects at their own pace and develop their own creative process. Once the creative process is completed, the students share their work with the class for analysis, critique, compilation into collaborative CDs, recordings, and productions. Students with disabilities will be able to express themselves in ways that were not previously comfortable or physically able to do so. Music is an art form that transcends the physical bounds for many students. Creating music allows students to move people in an emotional way and create an atmosphere for others to enjoy. Providing opportunities for students to learn music composition and technology will elevate their creativity and ability to express themselves. Participating in musical creation stimulates brain activity that promotes the growth of neurological pathways and leads to higher critical thinking skills. Music educators need to have the skills and training opportunities to provide instruction of music with technology. Music education integrated with technology is vital, not extracurricular, and teachers need the training and resources to be able to be in their classrooms. My media project idea came to life when I was given the opportunity to create a new course for my music department in music technology. I had no resources to find information, equipment, software, or training to use everything necessary for the electronic music lab. When I was given the approval to start teaching the class in music technology, I was given a budget to comp purchase computers and software. And at that point, I found myself with lots of things. Computers, synthesizers, keyboards, sequencers, that I could use to teach music technology with, but I had no idea how to use it or how to create lessons to teach music with my new things. There were no resources 
for me to use for instruction. My project was created out of a need for lessons and curriculum to teach music with technology. After speaking to several other music teachers, we had found ourselves in a similar predicament. Music technology had surpassed instruction. It was necessary for music teachers to have the resources for providing lessons and curriculum with music technology. So I created the Music Technology Network so that music teachers can share lessons, ideas, concepts, different projects that they've been working on with each other so they can gain uh, a, a social collaborative environment to be able to get ideas so that they can continue to develop their music courses. As I teach my students how to write their own compositions, I think it's really important for them to understand how to respect the compositions of others and copyright them. Here's a perfect example of somebody who doesn't. This is my new album. It's called Night Ripper. On the inside of the album, I kind of thank all of the artists that I sampled. It was part of one of the albums. I hung down how many samples they could recognize. Or can clear here and even recognizing artist names that they don't recognize when they're trying to pinpoint it. I feel like I did my own work, but I absolutely, you know, owe them all a little credit because they're. Everyone is bombarded with media enough that I think we've almost been forced to kind of take it upon ourselves and use it as an art form. It's like anything, you know. If people are passing out paints on the street for free every day, I'm sure there'd be a lot more painters out there right now, you know what I mean? That's exactly what's happening right now with kind of remix culture on the internet. And, um, you know, I don't know, I think the current laws are in a lot of ways just inhibiting. 